All right, guys, how's it going? Um, did a cold restart on this today. Uh, it's it's running good. I'm gonna call this thing a win. Uh, let's talk about uh, stuff that I didn't use. I definitely didn't use that. Uh, let me grab it here. Definitely didn't use this little red barn piston. If the, the, those have been asked a few times on. Uh, That's the red barn piston. I thought for sure I was gonna gonna like this thing. The timing's off on the skirt, uh, which played havoc in making this thing super. I mean, you saw the videos. I had it running; it was going pretty decent, but I knew there was more in it, and uh, I didn't like the finickiness of it. And I mean, this thing's already showing wear. I mean, it's already showing wear on the skirt, and this thing is super duper soft, so. I, in my opinion, this was not worth the money. I got screwed. Uh, this thing's got... Uh, make sure it's off. It's got uh, way more compression with a bone stock used piston and ring than what it did with that pop-up. So let's go over the mods I did to the thing. You saw the port work. It's still all the same port work. I did not throw a timing wheel back on it to see where the intake landed at uh, on that cylinder with uh, but uh, the, the skirt was longer so it'll have less timing so I suspect this thing's around 84 85 86 somewhere in there now uh, let me grab a cylinder let's see there's a well at the bottom of the I don't even see a cylinder I had one up the other day at the bottom of the intake it goes down and then you'll see a little lip where it kind of hunkers off and creates some turbulence basically I went in there and smoothed that up and took took that out on the on the bottom and then I did my my lungs uh, and this is running both piston rings in this piston like I said I couldn't run this 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 ring on this piston with my lungs because they didn't put these pin locators in the exact same spot and my ring was trying to drop into the lung and hang up uh, and I thought, what in the heck's going on there? Because I've lung these things before and never had a problem. And and uh, right here, this one's proof of it now. But it's it's running good. So mods I did. Muffler mod's gone. Or, well, this, I don't know what you want to call this thing. Spacer, whatever. This is gone. I put two roll pins cut to the length. So, so that's gone. I... Took the, the slot that's in here, made it bigger. This is the older style two-piece muffler that you're able to take apart. The newer ones, the newer ones actually have a smaller hole here. They have the same piece in there, but you can't get it out because it's all rolled on. You got to grain this lip all the way around uh, to get it apart. So a lot of times on these ones, I just go in with my die grinder notch out top and bottom and open the slot here and uh, then I stick a screwdriver in here twist it around and anchor it around so you got three larger outlet holes and when you do it like this you can still run a, a spark arrestor if you want to there's not one in this one but I could throw it in if I wanted to so that that's nice if you're in the forestry situations where you got to do that uh, this has aftermarket 260 clutch springs they are not the same stall speed clutch spring as an OEM MS260 clutch spring. I prefer the MS260 clutch spring uh, in these particular model saws. It steps the RPM up before the chain engages. Helps the saw spool up quicker. And uh, like if you're doing a lot of throttle blipping and, and limbing, uh, like you blip the limb off there, you know, the saw is pretty much already at power by the time the chain engages. It's a wonderful combination. It has an aftermarket uh, carburetor, aftermarket fuel line, aftermarket crank seals. Uh, it is ported, and uh, I'm very happy with the results. Uh, I'm running an MS180 six tooth clutch drum on it with 3 8 LP chain. I think this is the 43,000 gauge stuff. Typically, I like to run the 14 inch bar that's uh, 3 8 LP 50 gauge, and I like to run a full chisel. Uh, chain on them, which is like that uh, chain I have on uh, 
the well, my 2511T. That's the type of chain I typically like to run on these. But I don't don't have one. I'm not gonna go waste any more any more money than what's necessary. But I'm calling that a win. I'm happy with it. Uh, should be an awesome little little tiny firewood limb saw. It's running pretty strong, punching way above its weight class. So I'm calling that a win. Uh, now let's talk about my channel a little bit. I'm sure you guys have seen there's like thumbnails and, and uh, like I'll, I'll put up a video and sometimes it gets changed and stuff and, and that that's okay because I have help. I have, uh, he doesn't want to be, be named but he's been helping me behind the scenes uh, and he's been uh, doing an amazing job I think because it's just stuff I can't do and it, it's it's sweet watching the channel turn into something better but we did start the monetization process I uh, got a few more steps I got to go through I'm waiting to hear back from from them so we can try to get that going and I've been asked several times uh, you know how to donate or where to where the PayPal donate thing is and at the time I didn't have PayPal or nothing set up and I still don't really quite know how to how to use it but there is a PayPal donation thing if you go into the about section of the channel um, I'm not sure where it would be at on a computer screen but I know if I click on my phone and then go to the you know scroll all the way over to the about section there's a PayPal link there for donations for those that want to donate or we're curious about it you don't have to it doesn't matter uh, I, I can tell you this whatever does get donated to this channel uh, them funds will be rolled right back into the channel whether it be buying carb cleaner carb kits fuel lines saw related stuff gas oil uh, any anything uh, can help and I'm hoping the channel is going to get monetized because they're putting ads on my stuff and I'm not monetized so you guys are stuck watching ads anyway uh, if if you guys you know when I get monetized at least whatever whatever the channel makes I'll roll that right back into saw projects and stuff too uh, it'll it'll kind of make uh, things a little easier like like this was a huge waste I think it was 38 bucks that was a huge that, that was 38 I, I would have rather bought 38 dollars worth of carb cleaner uh, I got better use out of it so it, uh, it'll help offset the, the sting and stuff like that it'll let me go and uh, you know order more parts sooner so maybe I can get to sooner build sooner and stuff so I, it's just gonna grow the channel um, but don't feel obligated I don't you know I'm not begging for money or anything like that I don't you know if you guys want to donate donate if you don't don't I don't it's not gonna hurt my feelings either way um, I just I've been asked quite a few times on how to do that and, and now we just got set up where uh, that's a possibility so uh, that's pretty cool I got uh, the 660s running good I'm sure you guys saw the sparkler show I had that chain made that was a 74 driver chain I had that chain made it was like $41 had that chain made and uh, first cut on it to run that 10 pin and uh, I go through that log and there's all kinds of dirt and debris in, in my log pile from skidding it stuff and when you know it fir first cut into it and blow a shower of sparks at least at least I caught it on video normally that stuff happens off video and I'm all frustrated about it but uh, I did them other other cuts just to test the torque of that saw it pulled 10 pin very well I was I mean was it over the top no but it pulled a 10 pin very respectable a lot of saws struggle pulling 10 pin so I'm pretty happy with that being a Chinese saw and it running the way it's running um I think I'm just going to leave that saw I think think saw fest you have to run a 24 inch bar so I threw a 24 inch Forester bar well uh 84 driver chain uh I'm just going to leave that combo on it for now uh I got to start digging out parts because the next, the next major basket case build, uh, like this mutt saw, is going to be an MS260. I, I want to build a situation come up the other day, and I let one of my, I, I let my MS261 go. I'll probably regret that, but uh, it is what it is. Uh, I let it go. Um, I didn't get hurt too bad on it, but it, it's, it's. I sold it less than what I could replace it for. I do know that. So, 
<laughs> so now I no, no longer have an MS-261. Um, like the one, it was, it, there's video footage of it. It was a pretty good run, so I ported it. Actually did a dome, dome piston on it. Um, but I want to, I'm going to build that 260, the MS-260. I will try to turn the wick up on that pretty good, and, and that'll replace it. And then I probably won't miss that 261 at all. So, uh, yep, I got to do the muffler on that 266 XP, clean that up a little bit, paint it. I think that's about all I'm going to do to that saw. Uh, Chris sent me a whole big list off to write it down so I can read it off to you guys on that raffle saw. It's he, he put a 272 top end kit and all new bearings and seals and completely rebuilt that saw from top to bottom. I don't want to split anything on it uh, just because it's, it's a new saw, so I'm not going to port it. But I will make the muffler look as nice as I can make it look and uh, bolt the bumper spike on it and... Uh, Maybe we'll throw some gas oil in it and see how it runs. And uh, that'll be going uh, with that 872 down there to Sawfest when I go. And that'll get that'll get raffled off down there. All the proceeds from that turn go right back into Sawfest for the for the next year's event. So that's cool. But uh, I got quite the mess mess going on here. Uh, right at the moment, I'm gonna have to pick this mess up and drag all these MS-250 parts back down to the shed. There was something else I wanted to talk about, but for the life of me, I can't remember what it was, so it must have not been that important. But uh, if it is, I can always throw up another video. But uh, So that's why you're seeing changes on the channel. Uh, <clears throat> I have a manager that's managing. It's still my content. Don't, don't think someone else is making the content for me. It's still my content. Uh, he is just... Uh, helping out tremendously in the editing department and doing the thumbnails and rewording of some stuff and uh, trying to get the view count up on my my channel uh, for some reason I don't know this last month my my view view count is just just plummeted I don't know I, I've talked to a couple other youtubers too and they're saying the same thing so I don't know maybe people just aren't finding my stuff that interesting I don't know but uh, there is that donation thing in the about section uh, hopefully pretty soon I'm hoping by next month we'll be monetized and uh, hopefully we can start growing this channel getting cooler content on here and uh, just giving you guys a better viewing experience so uh, I'm gonna call this a night I'm gonna call this a win on this thing it's a pretty good little saw I'm happy with it so um, you guys enjoy your night try to stay cool and uh, Take it easy. Have a good one.